So I've been having a few troubles with the van uh, today and you'll see it in the next bits of the video. Um, I tell you I'm really really annoyed at uh, the mechanics here because um, funny enough the drive shaft um, I ended up paying double but it seemed to be the normal price <laughs> jokingly well it's not really funny is it um, because three people have had the same issue with different garages and they've all come back at, um, uh, well 550 quid um, plus the the VAT um, yet I got some quotes from the UK and it come in at 250 um, so not impressed on that but the angry bit is the water pump uh, fuel pump because the, the van's been bunny hopping so I took it into the garage oh fuel pump and I'm like okay and then a brand new fuel pump for the VW is about 500 pounds upwards <laughs> so um, I thought but it doesn't seem like a fuel pump it, it's if the fuel pump fails it's normally like if you're going uphill you've got no, it may even not run um, if you're getting a bit of movement there's changes but it's bunny hopping regardless so in the end it involved changing how many hoses three hoses um, one uh, what do you call it like a plug and rewiring some dodgy Spanish wiring um, but total cost was four euros <laughs> but yeah that's where I've been that's why I haven't been so productive the last few days well the last three weeks because I've been preoccupied trying to work out this because uh, like I've said before I'm an engineer but I'm not a mechanical engineer I am electronic and electrical um, doesn't mean I can't do mechanics it's just I've never studied mechanics I can do air conditioning I can do uh, gas servicing that sort of stuff but I have never worked on an engine never needed to um, normally like even with generators on large commercial buildings you have specialist contractors that just deal with those generators so <laughs> Um, it was it was a joke with a company I was working with before because they were asking why they can't retain staff, and the reason was when they send guys away to do the generator training, um, they come back and then handed their notice in because once they were trained, the generator companies would offer them twelve thousand pounds more to do generator servicing than they would get on a basic engineering contract. Um, why? Who wouldn't? I mean, this is the thing that they don't see that they're underpaying people. They see that we've invested a couple of grand in their training. They should stay, even though they're learning earning twelve thousand pounds less than they were. Um, but anyway, this video will actually help some people actually work out how to fix this problem. Because it, the other thing was there wasn't a lot of information online. I was quite lucky that the T4 forum in the UK. Um, were very helpful in identifying what the faults were and well pointing in the right direction and then I started messing around and found the issues I right. hope you enjoy it oh, these are the problems uh, the band's been bunny hopping and as you can see I've replaced this hose here because there was fuel getting out of here and I've just taken this one off as you can see there's a couple of nipples there there's one there, one there Basically, it just loops over. These loop there, loop over, then they feed fuel back to the pump. Basically, it feeds the excess diesel back, uh, back to the pump to recirculate. Um, as you can see, this is the one I've just taken off. And as you see, it's not in good condition. And this is the one I've just cut to size, because you just buy these from your local motor factors. Um, I believe this is three millimeters. Double check online. Um, but don't just put any hose. The reason being these these are oil resistant because if you get a cheap bit of hose, it breaks down inside over a period of time and then you end up with bits in your injectors and then you end up with more problems. Um, but I just wanted to share this because there's not a lot of information online about doing this. 
Um, I'd like to thank the Volkswagen T4 Forum in the UK because the guys on there have been really helpful um, solving this issue because the local garage here was talking fuel pump. The fuel pump for this van is, for a new one, between 500 and 800 pounds. <laughs> and it doesn't need one. It's actually just a little bit of hose, which cost me four euros for... Um, what was it? How many meters? Uh, one meter. The garage did the cam, the drive belt, um, the drive shaft on this. They double charged me on that as well. Um, I checked with the UK prices. UK price would have cost me about two hundred and fifty pounds, including parts. It's cost me five hundred and fifty here in Spain. So be aware, there's a lot of road garages here, um, and talking to pretty much anybody that's had any work done they've all said the same about overcharging so it seems to be pandemic all right thanks for watching so uh, I've still got a little bit of a leak and this was the former plug um, I think it's called a plug <laughs> but it's just a screw in a bit of hose I've just replaced this hose because I could actually feel fuel on there one of these is worth getting by the way you can check underneath to see if you've got any fuel dripping anywhere that's out of sight but also you can see how to get this back on and you know because inside the engine it's not so clear and now you're probably wondering where did this come from basically it sits under this cylinder it's just under here somewhere um, but this is where the other fuel leak was because it looks like several of these have all gone at once um, so I've just replaced it I put a longer one a longer piece on as well just so it's easier for me to access well, still not running a hundred percent is a bit better but I've just pulled a cable off from down here because I could actually see it sparking but when I pulled it off <laughs> look at the state of that um, also the cables about a meter longer than it should be and then when I undid this look at this cowboys have been here <laughs> so I'm gonna have to fix that before we pick the kids up today